Good morning, you guys. So today, we're gonna be trying something a little different that I've never tried before. And this craze has been going on through the internet for a while. We are going to be trying laundry stripping. So if you don't know what laundry stripping is, let me get you in some better light, but some worse audio because the washing machine is going. So what laundry stripping actually is, oof, is basically we're gonna try to strip all of the leftover detergent and fabric softener and all that other stuff that is left in clothes just because washing machines aren't perfect, honestly. I know, I got a pimple, I just popped there. Um, so we're gonna try that today, and basically there's only a couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bathtub, you're gonna need scalding hot water, which my uh, hot water tank actually gets scalding. Hi, Franklin! Scalding hot water, a bathtub, or something to soak your clothes in for multiple hours. You're going to need a lot of people have been using Tide. I don't have, oh, Franklin off. I don't have, what bud? I got the cat here. You guys can barely see me. I got the cat here and I got the dog there. Like they both want love. So um, you're gonna get this view. So you guys are gonna need, so you guys are gonna need a couple things. Something to soak your clothes in. You're also going to need, and everybody's been using the powder Tide. No, I'm not going to buy anything extra for this just because I don't think I should. It's a waste of money because I won't use that powder Tide any other time. Um, I don't think Tide is worth it, but I do have powder Purex, which I will be using. My entire city is out of Borox. I might have some downstairs when I check, but I don't think I do. But I do have washing soda, so I'm probably I'm just gonna double the washing soda in the mixture. Um, I'll put a link down below to the website I am using for the measurements of this. But basically, that's all you really need. Um, and the clothes I'm gonna strip, which they suggest this to, are clean. You do not strip dirty clothes. Um, it's useless. You're just washing them. So you want to strip clean clothes to kind of get that, like. Yes, to get that, I guess not satisfaction, but to see how much your washing machine is actually missing. I'm going to be stripping towels today because towels is a huge thing. I do try to wash my towels in hot just because they get a little bit cleaner, but I haven't been doing that for a while just because I'm lazy. Um, but I try to wash my towels, underwear, and then Ethan's jeans in hot and everything else in cold, but it just hasn't been working out um, that way. So... We're going to be doing towels today. They're all going to be clean. It's going to be in a bathtub. It's going to be great. And I'm hoping to get some results. And then after this, we will just run them through a regular wash cycle without any detergent um, in the washing machine. So I've got a load running now that you can probably hear. Um, so I will be soaking these towels for probably about six to eight hours. And then we will come back and see if it actually stripped anything out of it. And hopefully it does. If it doesn't, that means my washing machine works great. I don't think my towels smell or look dingy at all. So I have not seen anything to promote that I need to do this. But I'm just kind of curious if this actually works. These old towels I'm going to be doing, it's pretty much just a hand load of towels. I don't want to fill this up too much. Um, but I need to fill up the water first. I've got my Purex here. And I've got at least my washing soda. If I need to go down, if I'll go check downstairs to see if I have any borax, but I don't think I do. Oh, I have some. I thought I did. So I don't know exactly how scientific or spot on I have to be with these measurements, but I'm not really gonna measure because I don't think it's necessary, to be honest, and I don't want to. No. And I don't want to make a laundry measuring cup at this moment. I don't have one and I don't want to ruin one. So as that's filling up, I'm going to pour in the washing soda, the, the borax, and the Purex. And so it kind of mixes in a little easier. Um, and we're just going to kind of go from there. I'll get, your pick, I'll get a shot before and then I'll get a shot every hour. So it looks really foamy and really soapy right now. But we're gonna let this rise and set for a minute, and then we'll put everything in there. Well, hello, Franklin. Hi, bud. 
You and Whiskey are getting along pretty well. That's good. Got us there. Okay, you guys. It is, oh gosh, 10.43 right now in the morning. This is what it looks like before. I think this thing is broken to begin with. I think a lot of this dinginess is just the color of the towels. Um, Cause that's actually not that bad. And just lighting in general. So, <coughs> woo. Um, Cause whoops. I mean, I just hope it works a little bit. Even though I get a little bit out, I think it'll be worth it, but we're gonna see. So I will come back at noon and I will check on these. So it's an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, it is now noon. It's now noon. Isn't that one focus? There you go. Noon. And uh, we're gonna come and check in. I personally don't see a difference. Now it's a little yellower on the camera than it is like in real life. Like my nails are teal, if that helps. They look more green. I don't really see a difference. I mean, I'll have a side by side of where we started and when we did this, but I don't really see a difference. I don't know if we're not gonna see a difference until later on, but that is at noon. I will come back at two o'clock. So it'll be three hours to check on this again, but I don't really see a difference. I can still see the stopper. The stopper is teal as well. So if that kind of helps with color wise, um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't see a difference. I don't know if this is going to work because I ran out of hot water. Um, but I think honestly, as long as it's warmer than the air, it would open up the pores. Two hours. You guys can't see it. You can now. Nope. Anyways, 153. I don't know why my camera doesn't like to focus on it. 153, so it's pretty much close to 2 o'clock. I put these in at 11, so they've been soaking for three hours here. And this is what it looks like. I gotta say, I think it looks a little darker. I'm kind of focusing on right, like right here. It looks a little darker, which makes me happy. I haven't agitated these, so I'm gonna agitate them just a little bit and let them soak for another three hours. So I'll come back in three hours at five o'clock here and we'll see. I don't have anything in the washer now, so they can go straight into the washer, but I think this might be a success. I was afraid it was going to be a failure. Okay, you guys, 4.55. And this is how it is. I do see some dinginess in the tub over there, but I don't think it's gonna get any dirtier than this. So there's either two things. Well, there's three things. One, the water wasn't hot enough. I couldn't get the water hot enough. Two, I didn't put enough detergent in. I think I've actually put in a good amount of detergent. Or three, my washing machine actually works better than what I thought. Um, it's not brand new. I've had it for a couple years. So it's kind of gross that I see this, but at the same time, they've been soaking here for six hours. I'm not really surprised. So do I think it works? I think it works to an extent, but I also think if you soak something long enough, you're going to get more dirt out of it. Um, even something that's brand new, especially with detergent and everything, you're going to get more dirt out of it no matter what. So it's kind of nice that this happened. And if you have a washing machine that lets you soak for that long, it would be a lot easier to do it in there. But my washing machine doesn't give me that option. So yeah, I don't think this is as astronomical as some people are saying, at least for me, it didn't work. It's not pitch dark. I can still see the bottom. I mean, it's not as good as I really think it is. Will I try it on other stuff? Probably. I might do my husband's jeans who are probably a lot nastier than what these are. But yeah, so it was an experiment and I like I had fun doing it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.